In this project, we will numerically validate the data obtained by the paper named a characteristic correlation for heat transfer over serrated film tubes. The current model is designed in three dimensions using Dizar Modeler software. The meshing of the present model has been done using ANSYS meshing software. The mesh type is a structured a slide. You can see that we have extracted the figure 6 of the paper, which shows the NASA number data for different Reynolds numbers. And we are going to validate this graph. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. Under the general setup tab, you can see different buttons from scales to units. By clicking on the scale, now under the materials, if you expand the solid section, you will see that steel material has been defined for the fins. In order to add a new material, you just have to right click on the solid and then select new button. Thermal condition of this wall, you can see that the coupled thermal condition has been defined, which means that this wall is uh, in contact with the fluid on its both sides. After double clicking on the method, you will see that a new window will appear showing you the pressure velocity coupling. Also, you, will, you can see that uh, the spatial discretization methods are shown in this window. Also, you can change the discretization into other formats, like you can change them into first order advent and the other options available for each variable under their combo list. And for the simple pressure velocity coupling, uh, the simple algorithm is kind of an iterative solver which uses a relationship between velocity and pressure correction to enforce mass conservation and to obtain the pressure field. Now in this slide, you can see the velocity contour for Reynolds number almost equal to 5000, and you can easily compare this contour with the contour presented in the paper. Now in this slide, you can see the temperature distribution uh, around the fins, and you can easily see the changes of air temperature after passing over the fins. Easily see the pressure distribution in our computational domain, and you can compare this contour with the contour presented in the paper. After calculating the average temperature, we select this temperature and copy it. Then we go and double click on the reference values button. In the appear window, we paste this value of average temperature uh, in front of the temperature section. As was mentioned in previous slides about changing the reference length in order to calculate the Nusselt number correctly, we change the length from 1 to 0 0.04 meter which is the diameter of the pipe. After that, we again right click on report definitions, go over new and go over surface report and select area weighted average. And finally, in this slide, you can see that for Reynolds number almost equal to 5000, we have calculated the Nusselt number to be equal to 19.6365. And if you calculate the error for this value, you can see that the error of 3% uh, exists between our data and the data obtained by the paper. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this slide, you can see that we have extracted the figure 1 of the paper, which shows the schematic of the model used in the paper. Now in this model there is a tube with a certain length in the direction of which several rows of fins are placed around the tube. So there is a tube with several rows of steel fins in the general model. In the simulation only part of this model is modeled using symmetric boundary condition. The open air flow with a temperature of 313.15 Kelvin and a velocity according to the defined Reynolds value and it moves towards the tube fins and performs the heat transfer process. It is assumed that the inner wall of the pipe has a constant temperature boundary condition equal to 473.15 Kelvin. The purpose of this work is to investigate the heat transfer process and the cooling rate of the serrated fin tube in different Reynolds numbers. The current model is designed in three dimensions using Dizar Modeler software. The model includes a shallow rectangular area as a spatial area for free air flow around the serrated fin tube. 
also a tube with fins located on its outer wall is defined inside this airflow space. The number of fins of which is 24 and they are drawn smoothly and without angles. Since the model is exactly symmetrical, the modeling is done using symmetry boundary condition. The meshing of the present model has been done using ANSYS meshing software. The mesh type is structured and the element number is equal to 356,240. To benefit from Mester CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at mestercfd.com.